Welcome back to an episode of We are next to Travelers Beware Boards. And there's actually something interesting happening with this. Uh, see that? The Eerie Statue. A strangely knife-like statue of a Nangeri has appeared in the northern foul sands region of the Rotspil Delta. The horrible chanting of the cultists that are drawn to it seem to never relent. Be wary, there is some eldritch power at work. This is something interesting. Because, uh, it's kind of like a hint to a quest, if you think about it. In the previous episode, uh, I marked an area, like, somewhere in here. Northern-ish, so it's probably not down there also. Maybe, like, somewhere, uh, in there. And, uh, sadly, we have to go all the way back, because there is no waypoint in the Rod's Bills. But, okay. Let's just hammer through, quite literally. We have a hammer. A mace, actually. But, anyway. There's another statue around here. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Hastily strolled. No, it's strange. No, weighted down in or whatever. Let's see what this one says. Uh, uh, pay your respects to her and she will see you safely on your way. Ignore her and suffer the fate of those poor fools. Uh... Thank you. Pay your respect. Pay your respects. Cheer, help, taunt, sorry, wait, bye. Thank you. Well, that was that. Um, well done. Pay your they respects. Be How do you pay your respects? Sorry. I greet you. Greetings. Hmm. Do not go any further. Okay. Farewell. Goodbye. What's not what I wanted? Oak be with you. I wanted to look for her for that emote. Look. Pay your respects to her and she will see you safely on your way. Ignore her and suffer the fate of the Okay. Alrighty. So the um, Traveler's Beware thingy didn't seem to work Excuse out me. because uh, somehow... The statue does not care if we greet it or not. Um, by the way, the statue is... Um, actually, you have seen this statue. It's not two episodes. So <laughs> it's just two seconds ago. Anyhow, uh, let's talk to Kato and do her mission. A debt repaid. Looking for a man. Regular around here. Name's Flynn. You seen him? Lean guy. Bald. Got a birthmark on his right arm. No? Damn. See, my crew is leaving port here real soon, but I got a debt to settle with Flynn. I ain't one for leaving loose ends untied. Especially to a place like Backwater. Ain't nobody gonna be holding nothing over my head. What can we do? Flynn should have come back down the road up north days ago. Let's start by looking there. Come with me. Wait, what? It's an escort Normally, mission. Normally, I'd have done this sort of thing myself. But I'll walk barefoot into the burning hells before I go wandering the coast alone. Mm -hmm. Drowned out here are nasty creatures. And I ain't looking to join their hands. And you think that going barefoot into hell is any better? <laughs> Women, you have problem with your priority. No sign of him yet. Damn it, Flynn. I must wait a moment. Alright, let's just see. You're looking for signs. Oh! Oh. Oh, that's cool. Like, I'm looking for statues, right? That means everything looking like a statue immediately uh, hits the eyes. That's pretty cool. I see him. Wait, what? Oh. He's he's one of them. 
But no! I mean, just because this time we have a personal-ish kind of connection uh, to the dude. Well then, Flynn. Guess now we're even. Even? Okay, that's weird. Hmm. But yeah, look at this. We have actually killed thousands of undead. Uh, and monsters and whatnot. How does that kill make it any way different? Uh, the giant was Flynn? Sure was. Shame he had to go that way. Appreciate your help, though. I am so sorry. What for? Oh, you mean Flynn. Don't be. These things tend to happen around here. You get used to it. You have to. Backwater ain't for the faint of heart. Well, I should get going now. Here's something for your trouble. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 20 renown. Oh, yeah. And this one looks like a chest. If you could. You know, hoi. You can make those trees go. That's cool. Anyway, let's see what we got. A bit of silver and a bit of iron. Perfect. Now let's go down here and do the second mission. Because... For some reason, three and a half minutes... Okay, plus the thing at the beginning. I mean... I definitely have to cut that a little bit. Uh, but let's see. Hey, uh, Boss wants to talk to you. I want to talk to me. Okay, that's good. So let's talk to the boss then. The question is, will this be a large mission or will this be a uh, small mission? Help Lumiere get back at Glen by making them sick with swamp mushroom. A backwater resident in need offers a glimpse into a harsh realities of daily life. Uh, recover backwater stolen property from the bandits. Okay. Hmm. It's kind of funny that we uh, know exactly what we need to do, but I don't know where the bandits are. But for now, I would say I'm gonna do this one right here uh, with Lumia. Are you okay? Oh, that Arsh Glyn beat me something bad. I will take care of it. No, wait. I gotta show them that they can't walk all over me. Yeah, it's gotta be me. I just need you to get some wild red mushrooms from outside the walls. Ones what make you throw up. Find them for me, will you? I'd get thrashed by worse than Glyn if I go out there wounded. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Collect a red mushroom full of beer. Find a red mushroom. Mm-hmm. How am I supposed to find something red if everything is grey? That well, actually kind of helps me, right? Uh, let's just go towards the center of this huge thingy. Uh, if I would be a mush... That looks mushroomy. Okay, if I would be a mushroom, where would I be? Somewhere in the earth. Growing. Maybe uh, having a symbiotic relationship with a tree or something. <laughs> uh, stuff like that. So, let's see. I am looking for a mushroom. A red mushroom. A red, red, red mushroom. It would help if I... Ah, no, wait, that was the potion. It would kind of help if I could zoom out a little bit. Because the camera is like that close to the character. We... Okay, we got that one. Great, so now we are out there, which is not where the mushroom is. Hmm. 
Okay, looks like we have to go in a zigzag kind of pattern. Hopefully this quest does work. I'm looking for a mushroom. A red mushroom. I'm actually looking for a red color, but I can't find anything. Let's see. If I would be a mushroom. Where could I be? Maybe it's easier to find those things at daytime, but how do you switch to that again? Hmm. Oh, what was that? Blue stone. Ah, there we go. Uh, let's call them orange mushrooms. So they can be found in this location right here. Uh, at the northern part. Wild red mushrooms. Maybe they can be found at other locations, but yeah, this puddle here. And right next to it. Thank goodness we found it. So, does this thing have any other like, text to it? A sack of wild red mushrooms. Variety of wild red mushrooms from Havizan that causes nausea and vomiting. Mm hmm. So, it's a Dorito mushroom. Good to know. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Now, let's teleport back. Then we can finish the quest. You I need time to do that. Now that's a sickening bunch of mushrooms. But now I just gotta figure out how to slip them in green soup. Mm-hmm. Let's just hope we are not getting in to be the accomplice in here. By the way, shouldn't I get enough uh ah points for Havizana? Eh? Let's claim that. 900. Nice. That was a lot. Like side missions to give a decent amount. Actually, 40 side missions still remaining. That's a, that's a huge amount. Okay, what about this? Four of them. Hmm. Could be hidden stuff. Dungeons, areas discovered. Yeah, this is some more to go. Skulls Clan. Uh, yeah, the northern part needs to be explored, but that's also five. And one Lilith statue is probably also there. And a decent amount of side dungeons. Where are they hiding? <laughs> uh, okay, so, skill point. Uh, that's just there for regeneration. That doesn't do much. And where have I taken that point away from, by the way? I play, uh, took it away from, yeah. Critical and close stuff. Okay, how many more points can I can I get? By the way, there are all. Uh, I got two skill points for for Havizar. Yeah, and the rest is just a uh, hmm, paragon stuff in maximum mobiles that can actually be very helpful. Uh, difficulties. So that's Havizar. Then we have no wait. This is a yeah. And then we got Kajisan and the Dice Steps. So I can get one, two, three, four additional skill points. To make stuff with. Right now, the bill, I don't even know where to spend all of that. I mean, four different points. What could I do with that? That's a good question. If I were to place four skill points, where could I place them? I'm definitely not going to use. Uh, actually, I could level up a uh, wind shear to the maximum. Uh, that's one way of doing it. Or I could just ignore it. Uh, I could go for nature's magic skills uh, against the elites. That's one thing. Mm, I could get the healing back. That's again this flip-flop kind of thing. Or I could get bonus 45. Yeah, but then I need like 6 points of 45 for that to work. Hmm... Damaging enemies with earth skills is up to a 5% chance to restore all of your spirit. Causes your next... 5%. 5% to crit. It only works if I can actually trigger it all of the time. This is the only skill that can reliably trigger it in that one. Tornado is a bit weird because of its low lucky hit chance. 
but critical strikes are higher by 10% and if the target is stunned, immobilized or knocked back. Okay. Wasn't there an ability that makes enemies immobilized or something? Hmm, but the knockback thing, yeah. So I could actually make it work if I use the cyclone armor, but then I wouldn't know where to place that. Immobilize is poison creeper, but uh, wait a minute. It's increased by the if the target is stunned. Uh, for critical sex, if the target is stunned. Okay, so I need to immobilize it first. It's not the that it needs to get the immobilize and immobilize it first. Yeah, we could definitely get that. So we can use the poison creeper and uh, storm skills in order to reset that. Somehow everything relies upon the poison creeper. But what about the perfect storm? Now I don't have that anymore. I mean, I could still crit normally. This just makes the next five seconds uh, work with more crit. I mean, if you do have a high enough crit chance, right, then this one right here may not be as useful as you think it is. I mean, sure, it does increase your, your, your crit chance, but you have to compare this to um, with, the, with the current crit chance, right? So the increase that you get. So if your character has, let's say, 100% crit chance, then getting that skill does not work because it doesn't increase anything. Um, it only makes sense if your crit chance is lower than 100%. And maybe even lower than uh, a certain threshold here. Because you only get an increase... Yeah, wait a minute. We have to compare this uh, with the increase uh, of 15%. Mm, that we would usually get otherwise. So 15%. 15% uh, multiplied additional damage from vulnerable, right? Compared to critical strikes. Critical strikes are 64. Okay. That's sadly much more useful. Mm. But then again, it's the uh, 64 times that. Uh, then the difference of that. On one hand, you have 100% crit chance. On the other, you have reliable crit chance and just bonus damage. The question is, which one is higher? <laughs> uh, okay. So, reliable crit chance. Um, so, I have to multiply this times this. And then I can compare this properly. And then I have to multiply this by uh, 1.15, right? Mm. So I have to compare... Uh, 0.6. A fifth of this is uh, 12. Let's just round it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, 12. Um, and 12 times 1.15 is... That's a wee bit iffy basically like 15 times 15 or whatever uh what's 15 times 15 225 or something like that uh let's see Two hundred and twenty-five. so 2.25 no, wait a minute. Uh, Twenty-two point <laughs> five. That's the increase. Um, that's the damage that we would do, and it's lower than sixty-four. So that means that the other my thing is better. <sighs> because it. Yeah, that's that's just a thing. Hmm. But then the other question is, how often can you trigger it? Hmm. How often can you trigger it? Let's just ignore the whole four, like five seconds being active kind of thing. Um, because we have to multiply this crit chance here 
by 5 or 15 or maybe 25 percent in order to get the other chance out because this yeah this one gets triggered on uh, as an additional kind of effect sure with crit hmm but only sometimes so 15 percent of that times the yeah, let's say I do not immobilize enemies, right? Um, and it only happens sometimes. And it's only um, critical strikes that trigger it. Hmm. That means it's a 15% of that. Multiplied with all of... The, with the chance of that and with this one. Hmm. It's actually lower than that. So it would be like six point something. No, wait a minute. No, fifty percent is like two uh, percent of that means like da da. One point two percent or something. Hmm. Looks like the earthen might skill is not as good as it can be because of the lucky hit chance that's connected with it. Right now it's just 4.3%, that's not that much. I mean, at higher uh, values it may be worth more and whatnot. Hmm. Uh, what was that? That is weird, actually. That is weird. Hmm. The funny thing is, if I get rid of this, Mm, and just rely on perfect storm. I can deal more damage, sure. Of course, it's not 100% crit all the time. But I could deal reliably more damage to it. Um, yeah, immobilized or slowed enemies. And that is basically always the case. Yeah, that's always the case. The conditions are always met. There's no requirement for it. So I can also get additional spirit. And I can cast more tornado and whatnot. Which is also good. Um, and then I can uh, free up another slot on the ring here. And then I could use another aspect. The question is, which other aspect could that be? Tornado seeks up more targets, maybe. If you have, yeah, you have some increased uh, critical strike chance against injured. And that could help. Um, skill steal. No, that one doesn't stack anymore. I need something with a ring. Well, Hurricane is active. That one is not good. Um, Hurricane has increased damage. Well, that's nice. Casting uh, Storm Skills grants you Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Casting Earth Skills increases the critical strike chance of Storm. Hmm. Earth and Might key passive also applies to your Storm Skills. The thing is, it doesn't turn Storm Skills into Earth Skills. It makes the special thing work there different. Okay, then there's the increase with the base. Do some increased damage for each second you stand still? Well, that is... Why is it just 30? Oh, oh, oh. I could deal tons of damage with this one, right? And this one right here. If it multiplies like 1.3 times 1.3, that's amazing. Okay, basic skills gain bonus speed. Yeah, deal increased damage while you have a barrier. I don't always have a barrier. <laughs> but, uh... If I do, and the whole thing gets good. Oh, wait. No, wait. This is the barrier thing. I need something for the chest piece. Uh. Looks like I have to roll for that one as well, somehow. Question is just which one. Usually, armor stuff is head related, and head is easy. Or simpler. Uh. But yeah, I may just uh, change the key passive and see how that one performs. And I could do this in a later episode or so. For now. Uh, yeah, that was... Let's talk to Tomash, Tomai. And do his mission in the next episode. And then like and subscribe and... Uh, Farewell. Ta-ta.